Namaskar guys from College Street in Kolkata, India. Today I'm gonna be showing you the world's largest secondhand book shopping area. This is College Street. Or at least part of it. It's over a mile long. And the thing about this place is, I mean, if it's already not unique enough, I'll tell you some more. You can get any single book that has ever been sold in Kolkata over here. Some rare first edition books. Some books from publishers that don't even exist anymore. You can find it here. You gotta dig deep though. As you can see, I'm just entering the street right now. You already got some vendors out there. You got some here. You can find all types of shops. Proper shops or street shops like these right here with these stalls. I come from the US, brother. And you from here, Kolkata? All right, nice to meet you. Um, where was I? Wow, have a look at this. SATs. I think that's an American standardized test or something like that. The words bring back a lot of memories. Anyways, you can find almost any book here. Some really rare gems as well as some, some of the newer books. It's common to find a really rare book in the middle of a mess of other books. So you got to really dig deep. You can bargain here and you should. Especially if you're a foreigner. Anyways, we're going to walk around here and see what we find. As you can see here, it's on both sides of the streets. I hear some yelling there. Maybe a small little protest going on. Not sure. Anyway, as the name suggests, it's College Street. There's many colleges all around here. Kolkata being the old capital of India, you can expect to have many college institutions here. Have a look at these little shops here. There's books everywhere. Secondhand books. Every subject. Every single book ever made in Kolkata is here. You just gotta search. You gotta search. Alright. I'm gonna go look for the cafe. Is that way, right? Yes, yes. Go right. straight and... And that way, alright. Turn right. Thank you. I'll find it. I'm gonna be going to a cafe. A very popular cafe here. Where some very notable... Indian writers have had a cup of chai. Hello. So I'm gonna do like them. I'm gonna go have a nice cup of chai over there. What is going on on this side? All right, we have a small protest gathering. Got the police car right there. Let's ignore the political protest for this video and let's move on on College Street. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like reading at all. But seeing something like this, you know, you don't see this everywhere in the world. You'll definitely not see something like this in the United States. And, and this makes it something something chari cherishable, you know, something to experience. Even for a person like me that despises reading. I can have you and just have a good time. Look at all the books, look at the stuff, the hustle and bustle going on. You know, let's cross the street now that we pass the protest area. Wow, have a look. It continues this way too. This is the main street here. Check out the tram. That's one of the newer trams. Whoa, check out this dude. Oh my God. All right, a lot of things going on here on Color Street. Looks like just books that way. I'm gonna go hunt down this cafe. Any book here, you know. For whoever studies in college, this is like a heaven. I remember back back in the U.S. Uh, I was studying biology, and the books are this big and they're very expensive. They go for hundreds of dollars. Even a used prior prior, prior edition, previous edition, will still easily be in the hundred buck range. I would have loved to have a place like this. You know, it might even be. Any, anybody watching from the U.S. in college should consider maybe even coming here to just stack up on all your books and, and, and go back to the States with a suitcase full of books. Yeah, there, there's everything here. Steve Jobs. We have this book here with this man. It looks like he's a detective. Namaskar, bicep. 
Like the book, you have books over here. Everybody is selling some sort of book. Hindu school government, or oh, it looks like a school over there. Today is not a school takeover day. Today is College Street Book Day. Check out some of the vendors, they just chill there with all their books. Hello, how are you? How a question, how much is something like this, organic chemistry? Uh -huh. How much? This is like organic chemistry. How much would that be? 350. 350? Not bad, not bad. So that's the average price of the books? Like are different prices. They're, they're all different prices. prices. So you know the price of each and every single book in here by head. How do you do that? How do you know all the prices by memory? memory or you just make up the price on spot or not sure? Full memory. Full memory. All right, very nice, very nice. Where do you come from, sir? I come from the U.S. U.S. Yeah. Okay. And you, Kolkata? Kolkata natives? Uh, All right. All right, guys. Nice to meet you, man. Okay. I'm gonna get moving. Here. Thank you. All right. So they memorize all the prices. Impressive. I mean, when you sit there all day, I think you have time to memorize. Check out these right here. They're they look like clothes just drying, but there's no clothes here. Only books. Only books. Not much card, dada. All right. Whoa, what is this? Presidency. Oh, University of Kolkata. Ah. Looks like I could just walk right in. Anyways, I'm on the hunt for David's Cafe here. But check this out, books all the way that way too. I'm gonna find a cafe. I might have to look into my phone. I hope you guys can hear me. Whoa. I hope the new camera audio is working out. Let's have a look. Medical books here. You know, and they, they have proper stores. Uh, you walk in and kind of shop and they also have these. There's a little bit of everything here for everybody. All right, I'm just about there actually. I'm gonna be on my right hand side. Check out the little mountain of books. I came here on a Sunday and it was closed. You see none of this on Sundays. So all these books, all these mountains that we see, it's a daily thing. They open up shop, they put the mountain of books there. They take all this out. It's another world. I did get some few shots of it when it's empty. It's completely different. When I say dead, I mean dead. Like not a single soul inside just a few street barbers there where I got shaved. I have a look at this. What is this about? All right, I'll never understand it. Cancer. Cancer? Cancer is cerebral now. Cancer after my boy. Cancer like the disease? Cancer. Or the sign? Cancer disease. Disease. So it's about treating cancer. Yes. And what does the crab have to do with it? Yeah, crab, crab. Crab has and cancer curing cancer, uh, properties. Huh? <laughs> what do you have to show me, bro? <laughs> look, he knows everybody. He knows exactly where to look. Well, yeah, he's going deep in the. Whoa, he has books behind books. Cancer. Cancer. <laughs> so this book is all about cancer. Wow, this is a big book. Have a look at this. How much is this? I'm just curious. I don't want to buy. I'm just curious about. Only three hundred. Three thousand. So that's about forty-five dollars. 
Wow, for a gigantic book like this. All right. Thank you. I didn't want another price, brother. All right. The actual, the actual value is 14,000. 14,000 the actual price. The actual price. Oh. This one second hand? It's, it's second hand. Uh, okay. Nice to know. I just wanted to know, bro. I don't want to buy anything. I just wanted to know, my friend. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's cross the street here. Check out the public bus. Everybody's jumping on it. Let's go through here. My cafe should be somewhere around here. Let's have a look. Oh, check it out. Here we have like shops. You walk in and see around. We have a pens dealer. Brand new pens, not secondhand pens. You know? It's easy to believe that you can literally find any book that's ever been sold in Kolkata. Shoe cleaner. All right, where is this David's Cafe? Where is my cafe? Have a look at this. Just books everywhere. What is this? I think I'm heading to another part of town. I have been redirected. I think I'm on the right path now towards Indian Coffee House. Have a look at these stores. Whoa, so many books in there. Wow. And this goes back there and just books and books. It's almost like a... I forget a library. I think there's more books here than any library I've ever been to. So this street is where you find more of like the shops. You still have some vendors selling outside. But there's more, more shops, you know, like, I guess proper shops will be the word. I'm still hunting down this Indian coffee house. I'm not going for coffee though. I'm going for some chai. <laughs> You get mixed crowds here, every age to be honest. I've seen older people, I've seen I see street food, I smell food first and then I saw it. You have a lot of young people as well. I mean this place being surrounded by universities, it makes sense. And then you see a lot of middle-aged people as well. Everybody seems to want a book. Indian people like to read a lot. Where is this coffee house? I'm gonna have to ask again. Namaskar, Dada. Um, you know Indian coffee house? Oh, I'm here. Around? Okay, so go around that way. All right, thank you. I think he said go around. So I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna find it. Hi. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this? Kolkata is a very unique and amazing city. You have a crazy pet market. You have this immense, and I mean giant, book market. Surrounded by college institutions. Many, many other great things as well. Let me squeeze through here. Okay. Let me squeeze through here. All right. All right, back to where I almost started by university. Where is Indian Coffee House? My friend, do you know where Indian Coffee House is? Indian Coffee House. Indian Coffee House? Indian Coffee House? After three shops. In here? In here? After three shops. After three shops. All right, I'm running around in circles. I came from there. So after three shops. Oh, I see it. I see it finally. Check out the incoming traffic. Be harder, guys. I can't hear you. All right, we're gonna reach this Indian coffee house. Wow. 
Let's go. All right. Indian coffee house this way? Thank you. All right, looks like I found it. Wow. It looks like time has just passed by here and nothing has happened. I like it that way. All right, let's see. Oh wow, it's huge. Wow, it's a big place. I don't know where I'm gonna get a table, but I will find one. Maybe I'll have to share a table. I don't need a table, I just need a chair to be honest. Is there a waiting little line or? I don't know. I'm gonna see. Hi, is somebody sitting here? I can see? Somebody's there. All right. Oh man. All the seats are taken guys. I'm just gonna have to stand and, and wait for one. Getting a table is not an easy thing here. There's absolutely no order. It's kind of like somebody gets up and run and take over the table. All right, upstairs there's tables though. Somebody walked up to me, thank you. And told me that, so I'm just gonna sit up here. Hello. I've been told they have no chai, just coffee. So I'm gonna have coffee. This is a rare event that happens, I don't know, like three, five times a year. I think this is the right place to do it though. Can you tell I'm not a big coffee fan? I'm using all the sugar to mask the, the strong flavor of coffee. I even had them add milk to it. Not bad, not bad. If you just take away all the cigarette smoke in the area, it's a really nice place to chill. I'm leaving now. The coffee was good, not bad. I put a lot of milk in there and sugar and it, it gets a whole different taste. Barely tastes the coffee, I like it that way. Anyways, how much was it? Um, 20, 26 rupees. Like, almost 50 cents, I guess. Not bad, not bad at all. Look, they even sell books down there. Anyways, that's it from College Street. I'm gonna make my way out of here. I highly suggest visiting this place. It's definitely something unique. I mean, where else do you see such a big market to buy secondhand books? Look at it, it's still bustling. There's still people here. It's, this place is alive. It's about six. Look, it, it, the sunset. It's winter here in Kolkata, so the sun is setting really early, like at 5:30, maybe even a little bit earlier. Anyways, that's it from College Street. I hope you guys like this video, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.